Have you seen the new 3D Butterfly Impresslets die from Tim Holtz and Sizzix? It creates gorgeous embossed die-cut butterflies as I will share in this video. Hello and welcome to Karen's Creative Cards on YouTube. I am Karen Hashik and I had so much fun creating 3D embossed die-cut butterflies. I made five cards in a variety of colors and styles. Now all the details on these cards will be on my blog and links are in the description box to the blog posts as well as the products featured. This 3D Impresslets from Tim Holtz and Sizzik is an embossing folder that cuts the butterfly. Just look at the dimension on each of these butterflies. This one, uh, I made a rainbow of butterflies out of vellum, out of a sparkly colored vellum. And I just love how that turned out. Here's another card that I made. I did it in the bronze and the blue over the opposite color on a square card that was embossed. And I'm hoping you can see the great detail on those embossed die cut butterflies. I love to make slimline cards and um, the rest of all my cards are slimline. I did this one in a pretty pink foil but it's over a rainbow um, glitter cardstock. And then the background on this one is pleated. So I've done that in a previous video. I'll try to remember to link that. But I it pleated it and then I sponged some colors on. And again, all the details will be on my blog. This one is a slimline card that has two gold butterflies on the top and when you open it it's a W fold so um, and it has a whole bunch of butterflies in it even in the back so of course it stands up like a W and the butterflies back here show when it is standing so those were the first ones of all the cards that I made and this is the uh, slimline bridge rainbow card I'm going to show you how to make. So I learned how to make this slimline bridge card from the great Jennifer McGuire and there's a link to her tutorial in my description box. Now it stands up for display and then it ha it's called a bridge card and of course it will lay flat to mail. Now um, this is the first one I made and I was trying to line the butterflies up um, when you put it on you have to have one side down so um, I ended up with them over a little bit too much to the left but I learned and so I am going to crack that in the one that I make with you today the holographic rainbow cardstock that I used is from Simon Says Stamp and it's a rainbows as you can see um, on the butterflies but also on that background so here's how I made that. Um, I always start with a template and then I keep it for future reference. And um, you, you're going to cut a card base that is five and a half by nine. I should have wrote that on there. I will, but it's five and a half by nine. And you're going to score at one, one and three quarters, three and three quarters and four and a half and I'm going to show you that and then the piece that goes down the middle is nine inches tall by two minus just a tinge it's not even an eighth of an inch but you just want to take a little bit off so that your piece in here fits and then I added um, strips along the side in that same rainbow foil uh, cardstock and those were a quarter inch by nine inches. Then I always add just a sponge, a tinge longer, and I'll trim that off once I get it on. Uh, it's better to have it a little long than a little short. So um, we're going to start with the scoring. Um, I 
started this is the course the score buddy which I love and I have right by my desk and it won't do the whole length but that's okay um, we're gonna do half and half so once again we are going to score at one inch one and three quarters and then at three and three quarters and at four and a half and then we're going to fold on those lines up in the center and down on the outside ones and once again up in the center and down on the outside ones. Now I'm using a good Teflon bone folder here. It's my favorite and I use it all the time. And that's your basis, ba your card base for the rainbow bridges. Bridge. Now I have cut all the other pieces. Um, I, you, you don't need to see me die cutting and everything, but I've cut three rainbow colored butterflies. And um, aren't they just gorgeous? I just love this butterfly, the way it embosses and cuts. I have a sentiment strip from Simon Says Stamp. And then I have the strips that are gonna go on the outside and the one that's gonna go down the center. Oh, I knew it was something I was supposed to mark here, right? Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, I think maybe I can put this in. Okay. I need to mark where I'm going to put those side ones on. But I think I can attach this first. So this is going to sit in the center. And let's see. It was uh, that beautiful rainbow foil didn't like my fingerprints so you could easily see them so I'm trying not to touch it too much and I have a little bit to trim off the bottom and off the top but like I said I would prefer them to be a little long than a little short and that way if you put one side on a little bit off it's still going to be enough so there's that beautiful rainbow center. Now you can sign your name and write a, a message back here when you're done. We're going to measure in, um, these are a quarter inch strips and I'm going to measure in a quarter inch on the top and the bottom to make sure that I get them lined up. I'm trying a new camera mount today. Um, I wanted to get a new better one and so I will try to make sure I'm um, on camera um, and there may be a, you know, there's a little bit of a learning curve, but I think I'm going to like it better than what I had. Now I have a little bit, a strip of score tape, a skinny score tape on these. And I'm going to line that up on the top and the bottom. And then cut off that tinge and do the same on this side. Again, a piece of skinny score tape on the back. Use that line. And 
and I saw a little pencil mark yet, so I'm going to erase that. And I think we're good. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to attach our butterflies, and we're going to do that with uh, glue dots. But um, when you do attach it, you have to have one side flat and one side um, folded. And I'm going to take some temporary tape and hold that side flat when we're attaching. But first, I'm going to line them up a little better. And I think on this one, I went over just a little bit too much to the left. So I think the key is going to be to um, kind of just line that side up with the edge. But I also decided that I wanted my sentiment on the top. I think it would be a little more readable. So we're going, I wanted this one first, this one second, and this one third. So I think what we'll do is we'll just end up putting glue dots on the tip here and um, we'll figure that out. <laughs> so these, this side has to be folded. And the reason for that is when you mail it in an envelope, um, that's how it's going to lay flat. Um, but for um, display purposes, it stands up. So let's put a little tape here. And this is, of course, easily removable tape that's going to hold that side down. And we're going to attach that and then one, two, but I think we'll put the bottom one on. So let's start with the bottom. Okay, and we're going to put a good strong glue dot in the corner. And then this one, we think we want it about there and then about there. No, nope, this has to be, yeah, that one has to be down, okay. <clears throat> and then let's put the top on. May the days ahead be filled with sunshine and love. A straight would be a good thing. This one almost to the edge. And this one in the middle of those two. Okay. Now's the test. All right, so when it stands up and they get it, I think it's pretty good. And they maybe could have been just a tinge over, but um, they're still pretty centered. They have beautiful, beautiful rainbow butterflies that um, are on top of that rainbow background. So it's a slimline bridge card. It's going to fold flat to mail. It will stand up for display. And um, that's 
how it turned out. I love how all these cards turned out and the 3D embossed die cut butterflies on each of them. I hope my cards encourage you to give some of these ideas and products a try. Thanks for watching, sharing, and subscribing. And thanks too for helping me share the joy of creativity. Thank you.